This is part two of my art school recap series. I know, it's 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 been a minute, I know. Hey there, Nettie here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ogi, also known as Nettie, and I'm currently a concept art student at Sin Studio Montreal. In this series, I share a recap of all the art I've made in each term of art school. At the moment, I only have one video up, which is for my first term of art school. That was about a year ago now. <laughs> so that's great. I'm clearly on schedule and on time, not late at all with this video. <laughs> That's why today, instead of wasting any more time, I've decided to share works from my second and third term of art school. Technically, I'm also done with my fourth term, but I can't really share much for that at the moment for a reason that I'll explain later. As usual, I'll be highlighting some of the artwork that I feel like I can expand on or share some of my thoughts, as well as featuring some of my favorite work from my fellow classmates as well. Lastly, I have a few updates at the end of the video, so make sure to watch until then. Promise me? You promise? You're gonna watch? Okay, good. Okay. That's fine. Thanks for watching and enjoy! I'll be honest to say, term 2 was a pretty difficult term for me, but I'll share more on that in a future dedicated video. For now, let's just go through the art I made for this term. Starting off, we have this environment I made for my visual communication class. For this assignment, we were given four briefs with different locations and we had to create a concept for some sort of grand or important building as the subject. This one was definitely a challenge since I'm not exactly comfortable with environments yet and before this, I've only painted a total of about three, maybe four. It was also a hassle since I was working with an iPad that couldn't handle large files and I had about 11 layers to work work with. Spoiler alert, that iPad eventually dies on me midterm and sent me weeks back on all my work. Now that I think about it, that was definitely the beginning of my entire downfall for term 2 and term 3 but like I said, saving that for a future video so let's just move on. This entire piece was definitely a learning experience and I'm actually okay with the final result. Of course, there's still so much I need to work on technique wise, but I feel like I was able to capture the mood, colors and tone I was aiming for, so I'll give myself some credit for that. We also had the second environment project for this class, but I unfortunately wasn't able to finish it due to the little iPad situation I mentioned earlier. I'll still share some of the thumbnails and sketches because I did put a lot of effort into it and maybe I'll return to it in the future, who knows. Next, I'll be sharing a series of work I made in my second anatomy study class. Similar to last term, we drew a lot from live model. But this time we focused on all the individual parts as well as rendering and exaggeration. As much as I personally enjoy anatomy class, it's always a hard reminder that I still have so much to learn. Fortunately, I was able to see a lot of improvements in my work from last term, especially with my rendering. I learned a lot on how to convey form and even now I carry those techniques over in my digital painting. Another class we had was digital manipulation where we mainly focused on creating matte paintings. And believe it or not, this was my first time working with Photoshop and drawing on a drawing tablet. It was definitely a learning experience and I was able to get familiar with the software. Well, slightly familiar with the software. <laughs> Although I learned a bit about Photoshop, I'm not personally the biggest fan of the extreme photorealistic look, so I'm not a huge fan of the finals, but still a learning experience regardless. One of my favorite classes in term 2 though was my rendering class, where we focused on painting materials and making it look believable. I absolutely love painting texture and material surfaces, so I had so much fun in this class. We briefly touched on organic materials like skin before moving on to hard surface which was the main subject for the class. At the end of the class, we had to design a character based off four given prompts. The only requirement was they had to have or be made of some sort of hard surface material. I chose the prompt Cyber Mythological and I'm actually pretty proud of the results. In fact, I think this is the only quote unquote successful piece of art I made in the entire term, at least to me. I ended up liking it so much that I decided to push the design a little further and made a whole character sheet that's now up on my art station. So I'll link it down below if you're interested in having a closer look. All in all, really enjoyed this one and definitely proud of the results. 
We had our first illustration class in term 3 and it was a class I was so looking forward to. In this class, we had to take an old comic cover and reimagine it as an illustration. I actually went into this one pretty excited as well, but alas, I also wasn't able to finish it. It did make me realize that I do need to find a workflow for my illustrations. At the moment, I kind of just go with the flow, but I think a structured workflow is going to help me a lot in the future. We had another photo integration class, this time focusing on image integration. Honestly, this class felt more like a just have fun with Photoshop class because that's basically what we did. I took it as a chance to really get familiar with the software, but I can't say I actually did since I found myself constantly switching back to Procreate at some point. But the liquify tool in Photoshop is actually an apology. Plus, I still believe Procreate is the superior drawing and painting platform. For this one, we had to integrate ourselves into a movie scene and of course I chose Midsummer because why not? And for this one, we had to make a mini version of ourselves focusing on depth of field. This one was pretty fun as I was able to feature a tiny version of myself and my classmates as well. Moving on, we had our first character design class. For this class, we just had to design any character of our choice. I came up with this character, the guardian of the sand temple thing. <laughs> but unfortunately i also wasn't able to finish it i did have some very cool thumbnails that i'll share as well lastly we have some concepts done for my second visual communication class but this time we focused mainly on props i've mentioned in the past that props is something that i actually really enjoy doing i find it pretty fun to do and something that i would like to really improve on for this one, we had to provide six different designs of an object from a side or orthographic view but keeping the design within a given template. The subject could either be modern, semi-historical or sci-fi and I decided to design some sort of analog handheld navigation device. And for this one, we were provided four different reference images and had to translate and transfer the visual language onto a helmet. The point of the homework was to become more proficient in interpreting and applying references to an existing design while also taking us out of our comfort zone and forcing us to experiment with different solutions and approaches to apply a chosen reference to a provided design. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the final, but as usual, it was still a fun learning experience. Now, enough about me and let's just admire some of the amazing work from my classmates. As usual, it's always incredible being around such talented people and I just have to feature some of my favorite artwork. Do check them out, all their profiles are linked down below. As I mentioned, I didn't include my fourth term of art school because for the entire term, we basically focused on creating art for our graduation project and instead of showcasing more unfinished work, I decided I'll leave that for a dedicated graduation project video. But before then, I plan on making a video sharing my entire art school experience so far and I'll talk more about why I struggled so much these past few terms as well as where I am now. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, I'll link a playlist with similar videos that include part 1 of this series as well as my accepted art school portfolio down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Why you stop scamming me? Bruh.